welcome you all in my next series of video lecture i am professor anish vora and in this today's video lecture we will discussing stator design for three phase induction motor when we talk about design of three phase induction motor we will have to broadly classify our three phase uh, induction motor design into four category first category that is uh, our main dimension then second category that is stator design then we have to calculate the uh, air gap length and at last we have to design our rotor now in case of rotor we have two possibility either it is a stirrer cage type or it is a slip ring type while discussing the about stator design we know that the stator is common for a square cage type induction motor as well as for the slip ring type induction motor so let us discuss stator design in stator design we have stator core design as well as stator winding design so let us discuss stator design now in case of stator design we have stator slots we have stator laminations in the core this is core and this is slot in between we have a stator teeth we have a stator shaft between stator core and the rotor we have air gap then we have lot of rotor laminations and we have rotor slot currently we will be discussing only stator design so you uh, have properly have a look that uh, what we have to design we have to design stator core diameter of the stator core we have already calculated during main dimension so slots stator design and uh, our stator winding three phase stator winding will be housed in the stator slot so now stator core design during stator core design what we have to design stator slot design then stator teeth design then depth of the stator core depth we have to calculate in case of stator slot design we have to choose proper stator slot geometry that is a uh, open type closed type or semi closed type that we will uh, discuss uh, later on then number of stator slots number of stator slots are very important in case of stator we have stator slot pitch we will discuss again in the next lectures sizing of the stator slot meaning area of the stator slot is very important and at last we have a slot insulation so this much of design we will have to carry out while designing our stator core same way while designing stator winding design what type of design we will have to follow type of winding it may be a single layer type in case of single layer we use a mesh winding double layer type in case of double layer either we use a lap winding or wave winding for a medium size motor we use a double layer for smaller size motor we use single layer mesh winding but again in a next series of video lectures we will be discussing stator number of turns the area of conductor stator winding resistance but in today's lecture what we will uh, highlight or what uh, we need to emphasize that is a uh, stator number of turns we will be discussing how to calculate stator number of turns so stator in case of stator winding design we will be dis discussing stator number of turns to calculate stator number of turns we know the equation that induced emf per phase we will be calculating all the quantities per phase so induced emf per phase 
we know the equation that is 4.44 frequency at flux high max maximum then number of pulse per phase and we have kw that is stator winding factor from this equation if all the quantities are known then we can easily calculate stator number of pulse per phase so this way we can able to calculate the number of stator turns where uh, flux phi is equal to maximum flux and uh, from specific uh, magnetic loading that is already we have available we are easily able to calculate our flux phi so all the quantities are known and from the known quantities we can easily calculate stator winding design so our uh, next stator design will be discussing uh, the, in uh, our next lectures so so far thank you very much keep watching my video thank you very much